Hi guys, I'm back. Yes, I'm back with my second video and yes, it is a makeup tutorial. So this is the look that I've kind of created for everyone. It is kind of like my go-to neutral smoky eye. It's quite warm, so I've used a lot of warms in the crease and then I've added extra glam with some lashes and then my signature nude lip. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hi guys, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm just taking a makeup wipe just to remove any excess residue or oils left on the skin. I have cleansed my skin prior to filming this video, so I cleanse on the night time and then on the morning I just like to take this step. Then I'll be taking Max Fix Plus Spray just to give my skin some extra hydration. It is purely just a hydrating mist guys, it will not fix your makeup or keep it on. Then take your favourite moisturiser. So when selecting your moisturiser just make sure that it is something that's hydrating but something that's non-greasy and something that is easily absorbed by the skin. So I'm just using a vitamin E cream from a brand called Superdrug here in the UK. It is just a, a drugstore brand so it costs about £2.99. Then take your favourite eye cream. This one is from a brand called By Terry. You guys don't necessarily have to take this step but I suffer from eczema underneath the eye so I need to make sure that the under eye area is completely hydrated before applying any concealer. This one particularly has soothing agents so it kind of gets rid of any redness, any dark circles or puffiness. Now that the skin is prepped, I will be starting off by doing my eyebrows. You guys can do your eyebrows last, it is just personal preference. I like to do my brows first just so it can give my eye makeup some sort of frame. So I'm taking the MAC 208 brush and the gel eyeliner in the colour Dip Down. So I like to use a gel product just because I like to give my brows a little bit extra definition. As you can see, my brows are quite full anyway, so I just need to fill in any extra gaps. So what I like to do is take the majority of the product through the arch of the brow and then the tail of the brow and then using the remainder of what is left on the brush to feather through the front of the brow. If you guys like that ombre brow look then this product is perfect for yours. If you guys like to use brow pencils or brow powders that is okay too. You have to use what works best for you. I will film a separate video on this so if you guys want to wait for that and see a more detailed review of how I do my eyebrows then please keep an eye out for that one. So I'm just taking the edge of the brow and sorry the edge of the brow brush and just feathering the product through the front so it gives me that natural soft finish. And then I'm doing the other brow so same thing filling out the arch and then the tail of the brow and then using the remainder of the product at the front of the brow. Take your time doing this guys. If you kind of rush this step, you can kind of get left with a blocked brow, which is not a good look. So next I'm taking the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and using the same brush, I'm picking up the dark brown shade and just setting the gel eyeliner through the brows. Next, I am taking the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX05 and I'm taking a Morphe brush, it is a synthetic angle brush. I don't actually know the number of this one guys, I'm so sorry the number has faded. But any sort of synthetic brush will do, just something thin enough that will kind of line the base of your brow. So then I'm taking a, a MAC 287 Duo Fiber Eye Brush and I'm just going to kind of blend out that line that we have created with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. After filming this, filming this I realised that the actual brow product for this is too thick. You want to be using something that's still a consistency of a cream concealer but nothing of a liquid but you want to be making sure it's not too thick as the Sensual Skin Enhancer is too thick. 
So I would probably recommend something like the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in a shade or two lighter than your natural skin tone. Again, make sure you're taking your time with this step. As you can see, it's proving difficult to blend that line out. So yeah, I just couldn't find my Studio Finish Concealer, so I just picked up anything that I could find. But yes, note to self, do not use a sensual skin enhancer as a brow highlight. And then the same on the other side. Whilst I sing along to a song I clearly love. <laughs> So again, drawing a baseline at the base of the brow. Again, just use soft strokes. You don't want to be trying to draw a straight line all the way across your brow because it will get messy and it will get into the hairs. It took me about 20 minutes to probably blend that concealer out, but I've obviously sped it up so you guys can't see that. So yeah, so something like MAC Studio Finish Concealer would be perfect for this step. And finally we get there, eventually. The next step I'm going to do is take NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger and just apply this to my lids. So as you can see my lid colour is a little bit darker than the brow highlight so I just kind of want to balance that out. So I'll just be applying that to both lids and then blending that out with another Duo Fibre Brush from MAC in the number 286. And then using Max Prep and Prime Translucent Powder, I'm just going to set that. It's always good to set your concealer just because when you're applying eyeshadow, you don't want to be kind of moving the product underneath. So always setting it with a powder before you apply another powder makes the eyeshadow easily blendable. So now I'm taking a highlight colour. So this one is in the shade Short Shorts from MAC. It is limited edition. But the shade Nylon is very similar to this or the shade Shroom or any other highlight colour that you have in your kit will do. Just something that's quite nice and light and shimmery. So I'm just using a MAC 219 pencil brush and applying that to the arch of my brow. Next I'm taking a Zoeva blending brush. You guys can use a MAC 217 or any other blending brush you may have. You don't necessarily have to have high-end products or brushes. Next I'm taking this Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and using the shade next to the brown, applying this directly into the crease. I'm just doing small circular motions and wind wiper motions into the crease. Make sure you guys are taking your time with this step too. Next I'm taking the Melt Cosmetics Stack. This is by two girls called Dana and Laura. They are two makeup artists on Instagram. Go and check them out guys. Their products are amazing. So I'm first taking the shade Blur from the stack and applying that directly on top of that Smashbox shade. And then taking the shade Unseen and applying that back on top. So it's always good to build up the transition colour guys, instead of going in with a dark transition straight away you want to kind of layer this and use a layering technique to build up the depth of the crease colour. And then I'm just using a clean blending brush just to kind of wipe away any fine or harsh edges you may have, so it just kind of soft, softens the edges out. Next I'm taking the shade Coco Bear and using a 217 brush I'm going to be applying this in the outer V of my eye. As you can see I'm taking it through the outer V and into the lower crease 
So it is between the colour Unseen and my lid colour. Back in with the Smashbox palette and I'm taking that dark brown shade and Embark by MAC which is a matte brown shade. I'm going to be applying that to my outer V really close to the lash line guys so make sure you are concentrating this product on the outer V. So I'm going back in with the shade Coco Bear just to kind of make sure everything is seamlessly blended. So take your time with this step guys. So obviously this is sped up so it has taken me a lot longer than it may seem. So make sure everything is nice and blended. So next I'm taking a synthetic flat brush. This is the shader brush 242 by MAC and applying the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre to the remainder of the lid. This product dries quite quickly guys so you have to work quick so as soon as you apply it take another blending brush and just blend it out. This blending brush is from a company called Bedellium Tools I believe. I will link everything I can in the description box below guys but if you have any comments or questions just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So next I'm taking the shade in the spotlight which is a makeup peak eyeshadow also. I forgot to mention the Coco Bear shade is from makeup peak, is makeup peak as well. So I'm just taking the flat shader brush and applying the shade in the spotlight to the lid so over the soft ochre paint pot. And then using a clean blending brush just making sure everything is nice and blended. So back in with the short shorts shade from MAC and the 219 pencil brush and highlighting my inner corners. Next I am taking the 210 brush which is from MAC and then the Inglot gel eyeliner in the shade number 77. You guys can use the Black Track from MAC as well, that is good, but I believe the Inglot number no. 77 gel eyeliner is a lot more pigmented, so you get more of a darker line. So again, I will do a full video on how I do my eyeliner, but for now, you can just kind of follow what I'm doing. So drawing a straight line and then creating my wings, which I'll be doing next. Next I'm going to apply my false eyelashes, these are from a company called Eldora and they're in the style M108 I believe. They're quite multi-layered, they give you more of a three dimensional effect without looking too false. They're quite wispy but a little bit more kind of dramatic. So next I am going onto the skin so I'm applying Becca's Skin Shimmering Perfector. And then using the backlight primer as well. So I've just kind of got them two mixed around. So the first product was the backlight primer from Becca, and then the second one is the shimmering skin liquid highlight in the shade Opal. So I'm applying that to the cheeks, nose, chin, and forehead. And then taking the Holy Grail Foundation Guys Studio Fix Fluid. So this is the one that I use all the time. This is in the shade NC42. As you can see by my hands, I've applied false tan, so I'm actually not normally this tanned. So naturally I'm about an NC30, 35, but today I'm using NC42. So I'm applying it with a Real Techniques brush and then using a damp beauty blender to kind of blend it into the skin. Next I'm taking NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger and applying that to my under eye area. And then using a setting brush from Real Techniques to apply that and kind of just blend everything in. And using the Beauty Blender too. And 
I'm now taking NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and applying this to the highlights of my face. So forehead, down the nose, under the eyes and the chin. This setting brush you can get from Amazon. I don't think you can buy it in the set anymore but you used to be able to. But now you can get it on Amazon and I think it's only like £5. So next I'm taking my favourite translucent powder from Laura Mercier and using the Damp Beauty Blender I'm just applying this completely under the eyes so I will look stupid for about 5 minutes while it sets. Then using Coffee Pencil by MAC I am just going to be applying this to the lower lash line. Probably about a third of the way along and then using a 212 flat brush by MAC I'll be blending that out. And then using a 217, I'm picking up the Makeup Geek Shadow in Cocoa Bear again and blending that out further. So you get kind of like a warm lower lash line as well as a crease colour. So you can see it has mimicked the colour in my crease so you get kind of like a, a connected look. Next I'm taking Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC40 and I'm using a 150 brush by MAC and applying that to the remainder of the face. And then it's time to wipe away the white powder. So now I look normal again. <laughs> so now you can see that I'm completely highlighted under the eyes and I'm ready to contour. So I'm using the shades Fawn and Havana from the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit and using a 168 brush by MAC and applying this to the cheek areas, to my forehead and my jawline. And then using the Maybelline concealer, it's just a normal, kind of just something that's quite nice to clean up any, um, any contour lines. I forgot the name of the concealer but yet again I will kind of list everything in the description box below. So I'm just blending that out now and applying the remainder of my contour. Then using an Inglot fan brush, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. And I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones, my nose and forehead. And the Cupid's bow as well. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you will know how much I love highlight. It's my favourite thing. So then I'm taking a 224 brush by MAC and using the NARS Laguna Bronzer I am just going to be shading in my nose and contouring it slightly. Again this step you need to be making sure you are taking your time, you don't want to be left with any harsh lines around the nose. And then the tip of the nose with the highlight. And then just make sure everything's blended out with the Beauty Blender. Next, I'm taking my favourite blusher from NARS in the shade Taj Mahal. And using my 168 brush, I'll be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. and then apply your favourite mascara. This one is called Extended Play by MAC. I like this one because the wand is nice and thin so I can get every single eyelash, especially on the lower lash line. Right, now time for the lips. So I'm using a pencil from a place called Primark here in the UK. Yes, I know guys, Primark of all places. My best friend picked this up for me when she was um, passing through and it is like a nice nudie brown colour. It actually only retails at £1. Yes, £1. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a name so I don't actually know the name of the lip liner but it is just like a neutral brown so you guys can go and pick up your favourite neutral brown lip liner and apply that. Then I'm taking MAC Peach Stock Lipstick and applying that to the remainder of the lip and then just blending everything together. Then I'm taking number 9 in the Barry M lip pencil which is a deeper brown shade and I'm just going to kind of 
fill in the remainder of my lip line and just make sure I have a little bit more definition around the cupid's bow area. Then apply your favourite gloss, this one is in MAC Fulfilled, it is a plush glass which gives you more of a fuller lip. And there you have it guys, that's it, that's me done for a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!